the embodiment of mortality, death, presided over the souls of the departed across the threshold between life and death. His quest for souls was an unending cycle, reaping the fallen and guiding them to their final destination. Death was a figure of both fear and reverence, his presence heralding the inevitable end of life. But his quest was not merely a morbid dance of death. It was a journey of transformation and enlightenment, where souls confronted their fears and regrets, and came to understand the true meaning of existence. When souls resisted death's embrace, he set them on a harrowing journey through realms of darkness and illumination. They faced grotesque creatures and ethereal entities, each representing a facet of the human condition. Through these encounters, souls grappled with the inevitability of mortality and the choices that define their existence. They learned to embrace their true selves, let go of attachments, and accept their fate. Death was not a cruel or vindictive figure. He was simply a guide, helping souls transition from one realm to another. He understood the pain and fear that came with death, but he also knew the beauty and potential of the afterlife. With each soul he guided, death gained a deeper understanding of the intricate tapestry of life and death, and the delicate balance that held the universe together. He was a witness to the triumphs and tragedies of the human experience, and he carried a deep compassion for all living beings. Death's quest was not one of destruction, but of transformation and rebirth. He helped souls to shed their mortal coils and embrace their true essence. He was a reminder of the impermanence of life and the importance of living each day to the fullest. Death is an inevitable part of life, but it is also a journey of transformation and enlightenment. By confronting our fears and regrets, and embracing our true selves, we can prepare for the transition to the afterlife with grace and dignity.